Welcome back to the channel guys, my name's Andy R and this is the Brotherhood of Men. Now before I get started in this video, I just want to say, if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button, don't forget to hit the bell notification, that way you don't miss out on future content. And the reason I've said that at the beginning of this video, it does look like my channel is being choked. When I did the video on shame and whatever happened to it, I don't know what happened, maybe it upset those, the YouTube gods, but it looks like my channel's not getting out there as much as it was, and if you're not already subscribed, you're probably going to miss out on this great content, because it looks like YouTube doesn't want this channel to grow. Although it is, very slowly, but before that video, it was going great guns. I was getting many subscribers a day, now maybe one. So it's a clear sign, and looking at the analytics, you can see those trails just dropping off. Not that the content's got any worse, I'm still this guy standing in front of this camera telling you good information, giving you facts and statistics, giving you armour to defend yourself and weaponry and ammunition to fight back with. And clearly, they don't want that. So if you want this content, you're going to have to subscribe. And yeah, I'll welcome you. I'd be glad to have you as a subscriber because this channel is based just for men. There are enough channels out there, enough men telling women what they want to hear, enough women telling women what men want without actually asking men. So if you want to keep watching this content, please, for one, make sure that you're still subscribed because that's been happening as well, that people who were subscribed have for some mysteriously reason that wasn't down to them are unsubscribed so make sure you're subscribed and the bell notification is it and at the very least if you're watching this video give it a like this video likes 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 are like a woman wanting attention i can only grow this channel with your support so please if i've earned your support subscribe and put the bell notification on and that way you won't miss out on this great content anyway all of that aside what's today's subject well Today I want to talk to you about a phrase that I'm sure that you, my brothers out there, have heard before. Because it's so common, so often used. And that is, don't judge a book by its cover. Now, you know exactly what somebody means when they say that to you. If somebody says to you, oh, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Well, for one... It's an absolutely ridiculous saying. It goes back many centuries when uh, the printing presses were first printing out novels, etc. Because those books were bound in just leather. Leather bound books. Some of them were embossed, some of them were printed on, and some of them were, had gold leaf, the more expensive ones. But they were just a plain cover with the title, the author's name. There was nothing to be gleaned from that cover. You had to open the folds, look inside. If there was a synopsis, read that. If not, actually read the book before you knew what the book was about. So it was nigh on impossible to judge that book by its extremely plain cover. Nowadays, it's the absolute opposite. If you go into a library or a bookstore, you've probably got a genre of books that you enjoy reading. Uh, maybe it's a thriller or drama or romance or horror or science fiction or fantasy or autobiography. Whatever the genre that interests you, you go to that section, because there usually will be a section that of those books you go there and now your face your eyes are absolutely overwhelmed with an array of books all with different types of printed covers covers that i might add that the publishing company has gone to great expense and has gone to quite a bit of research to know what is going to grab your attention so you are quite literally picking a book up off the shelf because the cover or the title has caught your attention. You are judging that book by its cover. It's not then until you turn it over or open it up if it's a hardback or read the synopsis of the book to see if it's a book you're going to buy or take out of the library, whichever, to actually go and read. But the first thing that caught your eye was the way the book was displayed its cover. 
So it's a nonsense phrase, even in the literal sense of don't judge a book by its cover, actually talking about books. But that's not what that phrase is usually used when somebody says it to you. What they're telling you is don't judge a person by their appearance. In other words, they might look like this, but don't judge them as that. Get to know them, find out something about them, and then judge them. Well, again, it's a nonsense. And why is it a nonsense? Because we humans are very much visual creatures. Men specifically, we are absolute visual creatures. This is why men like our pornography in video form. We are visual creatures. Women don't tend to watch it as much. Although they do watch it, and they'll watch it with their man, they will watch a, a film of men and women, or men and many women, or many women and few women and many men together having bedroom fun. But the point is, is that men are more visual. That's how we like to mainly, not always, as I've always said, there are no absolutes. They mainly take that information in or are aroused by visual. That's why we judge a book by its cover. If we saw, see a woman who's attractive, shapely, dressed nicely, you know, she's actually taken time in her appearance and looks good, we're attracted. We're visual creatures. Women don't tend, don't tend to watch as much porn as men, but by God, they'll read the hell out of it. Why do you think that the book Fifty Shades of Grey was so popular and the main purchasers of it were women? I've actually read those books. They're pathetic. They really hold no bounds with reality whatsoever. I mean, the, the basic story of it, you know, it's, it's this extremely beautiful, educated woman, 25, meets a billionaire who dominates her. And she's a virgin. I'm sorry, right from the outset, none of that's believable. Not that the fact as well that the female author who wrote this book ripped it off from another story and just changed the characters' names and made it about sex as opposed to what it was originally about. I'm not going into that. Look it up for yourself. But the point I'm saying is women bought that book in droves and that's why it became such a bestseller because women might not watch it but they'll read the hell out of it. And... I mean, I, I heard a woman in a queue talking to the guy behind the till saying how she was going to jump her husband's bones that night because she'd just got finished reading Fifty Shades. And that tells you something that you need to know because that book was all about a dominant man, as in dom-sub relationship. And that tells you what women really want from a man. And I've told you this in my video. What does a woman want? But I don't like the answer. And that is a strong, dominant, possessive man. They don't want some weak yes person. They don't want some, you know, simpy like, oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you're a queen, I think. No, the guy they're going to go for is the one who says, you, get in that bedroom. You know, that's what they want. They'll even tell you themselves the amount of, on videos that there are out of there, women say, why can't I be a good man? We've been on this many dates and all I want him to do is choke me and throw me on the bed and use me. They want to be dominated. And I don't mean this in, in a respect of being um, uncouth. I actually mean to be a strong, dominant man. Um, but yeah, going back to don't judge a book by the cover. So, not only is it nonsense to say it about books, it is also nonsense to say it about people because you don't get a second chance at a first impression, and neither does a woman. She either turns up to the party looking her very best, or she's going to get no attention. She's going to get looked over. And that's the worst thing that can happen to a woman. They absolutely hate no attention. This is why they go after men who don't give them attention because they're questioning themselves all the time. Why isn't he paying attention? What's wrong with me? What is, I need him. I need his approval. They don't go after the men who are giving them attention, who are telling them that they're beautiful and queens and divas and bosses and all of that nonsense constantly texting a morning queen and night queen and I hope you have a great day and thinking about you and all that 
they're the ones they ignore. No, the guy that she met who just went, right, well, yeah, like, you know, and she managed somehow to get his number, usually not from him, but by somebody who knows him, and then she's texting him, hi, remember we met at the coffee shop, or we met at the grocery store, or the garage, or wherever, and it's like, you know, she's the one, because she needs his attention. She's already got those guys' attention, we're constantly bombarding her, and she isn't interested. You see, a woman wants every man's interest and one man's interest. So she wants a conglomerate of men to give her interest. So she will make sure that the jacket of her book is as best as it can be. And if it isn't, she knows why she's not getting the attention. And women hate not getting attention. They quite literally wither on the vine without it. But that was a video I covered with women are attention vampires. This is about judging a book by its cover and you not getting, you, a man or a woman, not getting a second chance at a first impression and not judging a book by its cover. But the trouble is, we don't even know the contents of it. We actually need to know the contents of this book because we know that the cover is probably a complete and utter lie. And what do I mean by that? Well, there's a meme that's been going around recently. It's about Cinderella. And you probably know the story of Cinderella. She goes to the ball and she's completely beautiful in a proper back gown, her hair up, diamonds, are all done by the fairy godmother. And she mints Prince Charming and he spends the night dancing with her and he's absolutely head over heels with what he sees in front of him. The book, the cover. And then she just disappears, leaving behind a glass slipper. And he goes all around his kingdom trying this slipper on all of these women that live in his kingdom until he finds Cinderella. Now the meme is putting the guy down. The meme says something along the lines of, How stupid's Prince Charming? He spent the night gazing into this woman's eyes and face and dancing with her and flirting with her. But now he can't recognise her, he has to try shoes on all the women. And that's a good point. And it sounds funny, you go, oh yeah, what a stupid guy. Like, you know, oh, yeah. I mean, come on, you didn't recognise her. Now, I'm talking to you guys out there, and I want you to leave a comment for me right here, because I, pretty much I could pretty much write them myself. But I'm asking this question, have you ever been catfished? Because that's what she did. She presented an image, her book, the cover, of nothing about her life that was. She turned up in a horse-drawn carriage. White mice that were turned into white horses. She had staff. Other animals that were turned into the coachman and the... She had staff. She was in a big, beautiful, shimmering silk gown that she didn't own. She was, her hair was all made, her face was made up. She looked nothing like she did when she's scrubbing floors and emptying out fire pans. So, she catfished Prince Charming. And isn't that the story of women? Catfishing somebody who's got authority, money, power, prestige, and all those things she wants with him. Why else did she go to the ball? She didn't go to the ball just to experience going to the ball. She went to the ball because her ugly sisters were going and she wanted a shot at the single bachelor prince. And she got a fairy godmother to use magic and transform her into something she wasn't. So she was catfishing the prince. That's the true story of Cinderella. So yes, when he saw Cinderella, he didn't recognise her. Why would he? How many times have you seen Instagram models who this is the photo that they've shown, that they've put on their Instagram, and then someone's caught another photo of them without the makeup on, not holding the pose, not sucking the gut in, not doing... And you go, what? That's not the same woman. Because they're catfishing. Or, or not using the, all of those 1,001 different filters to actually cover up all the blemishes. This is not on top of all the makeup. So when it's a case of don't judge a book by a cover, that's the time that you should take that advice on board. Don't judge a beautiful woman by the looks of her being beautiful. I can pretty much guarantee that the story, in other words, the volume of that book, 
is completely counter to the image. Now, in my past, like I say, I've been with the, the woman I'm with now. She's a completely traditional woman, and this is what I want for you guys, somebody who actually is a helpmate, and mine is. I've been with her for nearly 24 years. And I can honestly say, in the dating world, and I've had four or five long relationships, five years plus, and lots of one-night stands and hookups and friends with benefits and all that malarkey going through the dating world. So the information I'm giving you is hard-earned. I'm not just telling you because, uh, hey, it's something that popped in my head or something I had. This information I'm giving you is, you know, I, I found this out for myself. And the amount of times that I've heard my brothers say, you people out there, you guys, and I've said it myself, which is, I wish I knew when I was younger what I know now. And this is why I ask this information on, because you young guys can watch this video. You can pick up what I'm saying and go, you know what? Yeah, it's that, that's how it is. So when I say you need to know what is in that book, so you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. And in the first two, uh, first two examples I've given you, that phrase means absolutely nothing. It's a nonsense phrase. But in this specific instance of, of seeing a woman who looks bit someone you're attracted to, you better get to know something about her before you start making some really big mistakes. And the biggest mistake you can ever make is get married. But... I've already done videos on that, and I will be covering that again on the uh, don't get married subject. So that's one to look out for. Subscribe, bell icon if you don't want to miss out. So in that instance, this is the only instance where I can honestly say, hand on heart, that don't judge a book by its cover truly means something. And that is find out something about, find out if she there's something about her. Like I say, in my dating life, I have slept with some absolutely stunningly beautiful women and I truly do mean stunningly beautiful classic beauties as well as just oozing sex and let me tell you something the reason I'm not with those women is because after we've had the bedroom gymnastics after we've bounced over all of our bodies together done everything we can with each other afterwards when we're laying together she has no conversation absolutely nothing to say she's an empty vessel waiting to be filled and that's all i did was filled her and then when yeah i don't want to buy this vessel bye bye because she they literally just lived on and this is young women this is when i was in my 20s and 30s and, and 40s um and they were no 20s and 30s and they were as well young nubile fit athletic supple women who looked beautiful but had nothing between here nothing to talk about no conversational skills at all they just relied on their looks and several of those women i have bumped into later in life and i can tell you they were still single more broken not as beautiful and pretty <laughs> quite a few of them had uh, Let's just say they'd bulked up and um, and miserable because they made no effort. They relied on their looks. That and the fact that near, well, actually the two that I bumped into that uh, both of them had got kids, no ring on the finger, same old story. So when I say don't judge a book by its cover, that you should take on board. Don't judge a a good looking woman or a woman you're attracted to by her looks they'll fade they will wither in time she's not going to look to that and, and in a previous video i did when i was talking about men want nothing to change and women want to change men which is very true in that i was explaining that that is what women we see of that woman and we never want that to change. We don't want them to get bigger. We don't want them to get uglier. We don't want them to even take their makeup off so we see what they really look like. We want that forever because that's what we're attracted to. But it doesn't. They change and never for the better. Like I say, looks are only skin deep, but ugly goes to the bone. Beauty, true beauty, is just a manifestation of what's inside. 
a really beautiful woman is beautiful on the inside. Whereas these women who think they're pretty, it's just facial, it's just body, it's just external. There's nothing inside. Like I said with those women, empty vessels just waiting to be filled. Anyway, do you agree with me? Do you think what I've said holds water? Has it got merit? Do you judge a book by its cover? Because <laughs> most of us do when we're talking about books and when we're talking about women. But the thing is, is with women, you really need to know the story before you get involved at all. Even in the smallest, the tiniest way getting involved. But with books, yeah, we grab them off the shelf and we, we read the synopsis and, and then we decide whether we're going to purchase it. But here's the uh, crossover as well between books and women. You never truly own that book. Once you've read it, it might go on a shelf or you'll pass it on to a charity shop so somebody else gets to read it, give it to a friend, whatever. Pretty much the same with women. You don't really own them, just your turn. Then you pass it on, give it to a charity shop or pass it on to a friend. <laughs> anyway, my name's Andy R. This is the Brotherhood of Men and I'll talk to you guys soon. And seriously, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button because you will miss out because it does look like YouTube are trying to strangle this channel. It's not getting the, uh, it's not getting the uh, exposure that it once was. So clearly my message, uh, they don't like it. Anyway, I will talk to you soon because I'm going for a cup of tea. And you guys out there, you men, take care of yourself. Because if you don't, who on earth will? I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.